I've got a scrap of walnut that is thick enough to make three of the four inlays that I need. And I'm going to clamp that in the shoulder vise of my workbench so that it's flush with the top. To cut the inlays, I made a template from quarter inch plywood. And I'm going to clamp that down so that it doesn't move. Now the setup I'm using is a plunge router with a quarter inch bit. And I've also got a 5 16 inch outside diameter guide bushing put in the router. And that will follow that cutout pattern that I made in the quarter inch plywood. And I'm being very careful to hold that guy bushing up tight to the plywood. And because I need these to be a half inch thick, I'm cutting them in two passes. And then after I'm done, I'll take it over to my table saw and cut the inlay off and get ready to cut the next one. The table saw is probably not the best tool for cutting these off. The bandsaw is, but not everybody has one, so I thought I would just show you I'm doing it and I know that this looks dangerous but really my hand is not close to the blade and I've got a firm grip on the block it's not going anywhere with all of the inlays cut I can use that same template to cut the recess that they'll fit into. And then I can change the guy bushing that's on the router to a bigger one. This is a 51 64th outside diameter guy bushing. Now I know that sounds like an odd size, but most Imperial bushing sets have a guy bushing this size. So there's nothing special being used here. Have a look in the description and you'll find a link to a deal that you might be interested in. It's a limited run of my I Build It six piece multi-purpose screwdriver sets. And as a bonus, it includes a handmade bench block holder for the set. My six piece screwdriver set includes three slot and three Phillip head screwdrivers with overall lengths of four inches to eight and a half inches. And the blades are made from high quality chromium steel alloy with a black oxide finish. Now there are only 200 of these and while they're still available, simply find the link in the description and pick up one for yourself today. And with Christmas just around the corner, these make a great gift, even if you're giving it to yourself, which I highly encourage. And as always, thank you for the support. I'm leaving in the quarter inch bed and once again, I'm making these cuts in more than one pass. And that'll allow me to go faster and therefore avoid burning. You can cut the whole thing out with a quarter inch bit, but I only did the perimeter. I figured it's a lot more efficient to just chip out what's left inside with the chisel. And then I can use the router again to clean up the bottom. Because I'm using a round bit, this leaves me with round corners. So there's two ways to handle this. I can either round the corners on the bow tie inlay, or I can chip out the corner on the recess. And for this, I think this sharp corner looks better. Since these are mostly decorative, I'm not going overboard gluing them in. So I want to make sure that they stay in there. 
So I'm gonna put a spot of glue in each pocket and then tap the inlay in. Of course, you can cut the template into any shape you want. And here I've cut a rectangle around the corners, and that's to make a small patch to cover a defect in the wood. So a recap on the method is to use a quarter inch bit, a 5 16 inch outside diameter guy bushing, plus a 51 64 inch guy bushing. You'll cut the plug using the 5 16 inch guy bushing, and to cut the recess you'll use the 51 64 inch guy bushing. And you'll get a perfect fit every time.